Hi, this is Scott Garibay. Today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to talk about Strixhaven, and we're specifically going to talk about my Strixhaven um, student campaign, Season 1, right? And this was where my player characters went all the way up from... Um, they went up from level 1 all the way up to level 10. And we did this in four sessions, right? Now, normally if you sit down and you run the Strixhaven book, it takes much, much longer. All of my games are run at a much more accelerated pace than uh, most Dungeons & Dragons games. Um, the reason why is I, li I just like a faster pace. And um, and I do a whole bunch of things to, to run my games faster than most uh, other Dungeon Masters. And the reason why is I'm looking for an actually cinematic pace. Like, people are like, oh, a cinematic pace. You hear that a lot in tabletop role-playing games. Um, and people are used to, to movies, right? So, um, so let me tell you what happened in... Um, Strixhaven Season 1, the student campaign. Uh, so basically we had three players. Um, and uh, so we had my our mechanic, we had my mechanical player. He is our best mechanical player as far as knowing the rules. And he played uh, Castor, a satyr bard who was in Lorehold. Okay? And um, and then next we play, we had Riol, and he is an elf artificer from Prismar, uh, from Prismari. Right? And then, finally, we had uh, Abacus. And Abacus was a human wizard uh, who was also in Lorehold. So, so, basically, the player characters start out and they, have the, they, and they go through the, the, the general arc, right? Initiate, they have a first year uh, as initiates. And they're just learning about Strixhaven. And on, in their first year... A, an evil wizard appears on campus and demands to have a book that was taken from his great grandfather uh, and it's held in the Strixhaven Biblioplex. I think I've seen in, the, in some of my previous videos I've said Bibliotech. Uh, it's Biblioplex. At the Strixhaven in the center of the camp, in the center campus, um, there's one campus in the center of the Strixhaven, um, uh, the entire Strixhaven campus. And that one is, uh, and it, it's like a, it's a shared campus, right? It's in the center. And so it doesn't belong to one of the colleges. It doesn't belong to like Silver Quill or Witherbloom, right? And so he shows up at the Biblioplex and says, hey, you guys have a book in the Biblioplex that was my great grandfather's. Now he's an evil wizard and his great grandfather was an evil wizard. And it's totally correct that this book, you know, that, and essentially adventurers took this book from, literally took it out of the the hands of his dead grandfather when they found it in a cave, right? And so this evil wizard shows up and, and human wizard, and he's like, hey, give me the book back, right? Well, and he has a stoic champion with him, and he has a warforged by the name of Glaive, right? So the player characters go go to battle, right? And they're like, he can't have the book, right? And the, and Real, Castor, and Abacus fight this guy, right? And they defeat him in the biblioplex. Some, some valuable books were destroyed, but, you know, Strixhaven understands. And, uh, and also, one thing that was really interesting was Riol, the elf artificer, uh, from Prismari, he took on Glaive, the Warforged, who had served the human evil wizard, as his, uh, essentially, Riol now has this, uh, Warforged Glaive, and Glaive is his Chewbacca, right? He's the Han Solo, and Glaive is Chewbacca. He's just always there, he and and he's and re he really seriously ups the power of real because real gets extra you know he can he can flank whenever he wants because he's got this assistant essentially you know um, and he can set glaive to spy on you know other you know other students or professors if he suspects them of other things and he you know um, even when he was like just studying for classes like I need a book from the biblioplex. Oh, it's already checked out. Go get it from that other student. <laughs> you know, like uh, Glaive really helped him. You know, it's it pretty interesting. So all this is happening, and then the characters start to make friends. They befriend people. There's a mechanic for that in in, um, and there's also beloved. None of the player characters did any beloved actions, right? And we're still getting used to that. You know, like moving into the interaction is complex, right? And so. Um, but one of the but uh, Caster made a really good friend. Um, I used the eager first year card for it, and that friend's name was Pintel. And Pintel was really a, a very good friend to Caster and his best Strixhaven friend. Right. So uh, 
so then all the player characters go on field trips, right? And these are, um, and basically they can go to any realm with a professor. So Abacus goes to Ravenloft and he brings back the Golthia staff and then he plants the Golthia staff in the Sedgemore Bayou, okay, in Witherbloom. That grows into a tree and that tree connects Strixhaven to Ravenloft and Strahd von Var Zarevich begins to appear in Abacus's dreams and says, hey, Abacus, oh, I'm sorry, my, my apologies. Abacus is not a human wizard. He is a vampire wizard. He is a vampire wizard. He actually, his, he was a vampire. So that's one of the reasons why he chose to go to Ravenloft on his field trip, right? Sorry, I got that wrong. Um, so, and by the way, uh, Strixhaven is supplying him with blood, right? So Strixhaven, once they accept you as a student, it doesn't matter what you eat. They supply it, right? So what they were doing is they were they were supplying the blood, and we just left that as a big question mark. He would just go to Bowen Bow's End Tavern, and they'd have a big bowl of blood for him to drink, right? That, you know, we we just did not even discuss where that was coming from because you know we didn't need to, right? Um, and so you know, so he, and he's playing a vampire, right? But Strahd von Vera Zarevich um, starts asking him, "Hey, you know, you're here on Strixhaven." Strixhaven is uh, is a campus on on Arcavios. I'm here on Ravenloft. You know what? I would like to make Ravenloft. I would like to make Barovia, second Barovia, on um, Arcavios, and I would like to turn everybody who lives in Strixhaven into vampires and shut that school down. And uh, and what I'll do is I'll give you all my powers, right? And so the way I explain this to the the player character is like, if you accept what Strahd von Zarevich is is saying your player character sheet disappears and you literally are running Strahd von Zarevich. You have every power he has. You have his hit points. You have all of his powers. You are a, strek, a second Strahd, right? Now, this is a huge, you know, and and you will become Strahd von Abacus, right? This is a huge level up for him, right? So uh, he's like, I'm interested, right? So at the very end of the campaign, um, in in uh, so they're in their last year, and what ends up happening is uh, uh, it gets to the point where they're in the Sedgemore Bayou and, um, and Strahd von Zarevich reaches out and Pintle is there, Castor's best friend. And he's like, Pint and Zarev Strahd von Zarevich speaks directly into, Stra into Abacus's mind and says, uh, if you drain Pintle, right, and uh, of all of her blood and, you know, she is no longer among the living. I'm going to grant you. I will make you Strahd von Abacus, and the player character chose it, and that was the end of. Uh, that's exact. And it ended on a cliffhanger, right? Um, because what happened next is uh, Strahd von Abacus literally tried to create Strixhaven as a second Barovia, and Real and Castor went to war with him. And that war happened at the beginning of season two in the adventurer arc. Um, but at the end, Strahd von Abacus became Strahd von Abacus. Real and Castor, in their last year at Strixhaven, um, the entire campus was destroyed in a war, right? And so that was season one of Strixhaven, the student arc. And I just wanted to share it with you. Thanks for letting me share it with you. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.